So it's official, it happened. We reached 2000 subscribers on the Journey channel, which is a lot and not a lot. It depends on how you look at it, but it did bring out a significant amount of emotions in me and I decided to sit down and thank you for, first of all, for following this channel, for watching these videos, for being with me through this process, through this journey and for supporting it or, or giving me feedback along the way. And so, yeah, I wanted to thank you through this video and also to recap what happened so far, what were the challenges, what changes happened along the way and what this channel is evolving to and what are the potential visions and plans for it. So if you're interested to talk about this and sit down with me, then let's do it. What's funny about this is, as I said, you know, 2000 is a lot and not a lot, depends on how you look at it. And the, the most funny moment for me is that with my main channel, The Martial Arts Journey, uh, it has now over 135,000 subscribers at the moment of filming this video, uh, which, you know, is, is, again, it's kind of a lot and not a lot and depends on how you look at it. Uh, if you compare it with a channel which has a million or 10 millions of followers, subscribers, then you're like, uh, you know, it's not that much. But then again, 100,000 is, is the amount of people that lived in the city where I used to run my Aikido Dojo. And the channel has over 30 million views, which is, you know, a lot. It's 10 times more than how many people live in my whole country. So again, it really depends on how you look at it. But in relationship with the journey, the funny moment, the interesting moment is, that when the Martial Arts Journey channel reached 800,000 subscribers, I was already not as hyped. It was kind of a weird moment, actually. I was in, in Ireland, in Dublin. I just came back from a trip, I can't remember where. And uh, I was kind of alone, you know, my girlfriend was not there, my family was not there, and I was still kind of, I had kind of people that I was starting to get to know, but, but it was a bit of a, I was exhausted from all the training and I kind of felt a bit alone. And so when I reached 100,000 subscribers, I was like, you know, I didn't have anyone to celebrate it with, and it was kind of like, meh, you know, and I wasn't as hyped about the martial arts journey anymore altogether. Uh, but then uh, I'm reaching 2,000 on the journey, and I'm like, oh, this is so awesome. I was counting the subscribers until it happens. And so it's happening simultaneously, you know, I'm, I'm receiving, actually I'm receiving about 2,000 subscribers, new subscribers each month on the martial arts journey uh, up to today, like every month. And now I received, uh, 2,000 subscribers on the journey through these last, what, nine months or so? And I'm like super hyped. <laughs> so, but the, the reason for it, I feel is, again, the martial arts journey was such a brilliant project. It's been such a significant part of my life. But at the same time, uh, as you might know what I'm exploring this channel, that I started to feel like martial arts, I did what I wanted to do. And who knows, maybe I'll come back to it. I keep thinking about doing some jiu-jitsu or MMA. I do miss it sometimes. But at the same time, I felt that I want more. I want to create significant change and meaning outside of martial arts on a bigger scale. And that's why I felt compelled to start the journey, which is more driven by, by the deepest of my passions. So while the martial arts journey was driven a lot by the passion of martial arts, this is like the passion of the passions. But as you probably know too, it's been a somewhat of a rough journey or not like a smooth journey. And the reason for that was that first of all, I announced my new direction, uh, you know, wearing my, my crazy outfit and wanting to save the world from the get go. And uh, I did it on the martial arts journey channel. So I made, I realized I kind of made a lot of mistakes uh, on how I promoted it by that new direction on how I presented it and and there was a lot of backlash and that was not easy to deal with I was expecting more support but you know that those were my mistakes I take it upon myself and I learned a lot from that and I realized that I kind of jumped in too quickly into that whole project into you know wanting to just save the world which is so abstract I didn't have a clear specific vision on how to do it and that's where even this journey the, the journey this channel kind of struggled with over this time was that uh, I, I, I am interest, interested in marketing. I, I, I love the world of business. I, I love the world of marketing. I read books about it. I think a lot about it. When I was running my Aikido school, I, I had to deal with marketing and kind of running your YouTube channel part of it is marketing as well. So I'm very interested in how marketing works. 
And one of the key concepts in marketing is having your, your niche, having a specific product that you are quote unquote selling, that you're delivering. And also two, uh, it's having something unique to offer. But, but basically a lot about that is having a specific story or, or thing that you are giving. And the, the less clear you are about what you are giving, the less unique it is, et cetera, et cetera, the harder it is for people to, to buy into it, to, 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 to believe in it, to follow it, to support it. And even with the Martial Arts Journey channel, it didn't happen from the get-go. That whole process did not happen from the get-go. Initially, it was an Aikido channel, Aikido tutorials. Then later on, you know, I decided to make the Aikido versus the Nemi video, and that made that huge change, but I didn't even know where it's leading to. And it took me a while to understand, oh, there's actually something specific there. And I tried so many things at the beginning of the Martial Arts Journey channel too. I, I tried motivational videos and I tried animation if you haven't seen that. I tried a lot of things and I started to see, okay, there's, but there's one thing which is standing out and that is the Martial Arts Journey. That's what's making the main significant impact. And so I started to focus on that and it became the martial arts journey, which is quite a clear journey now. It, you can, you know, it's, it's easily defined. It's, it's my journey from moving away from Aikido to MMA, simply put, questioning martial arts, critical thinking in martial arts. And the challenge with the journey was and is that uh, I wasn't clear on how and what I'm planning to do. And that's okay. I think that's okay. Even Gary Vee, the, you know, the expert of social media is suggesting that you it's fine to document your journey of how you are discovering yourself you obviously probably won't make it so big from the get-go but uh, but it's, it's something you can do it takes longer than if you are an expert at something and you find a niche and you you, you know you kind of drop fully into that niche then you know you can you can own the channel and blow up uh if you're not an expert at that field you can still but then you can still document the process again it just takes longer and that's kind of what i did with the martial arts journey uh and that's kind of what i realized i want to do with this channel i tried some things i had some ideas but as if you're following this journey you know that eventually i bumped into my limitations and i realized i i you know i read a lot i experienced a bunch of things and and I do like to think and analyze things. So I think I have a good brain on my shoulders, on my, in my head. But at the same time, I still feel like I'm missing some links. I don't have an expertise which would help me deliver the change I want to deliver through this channel. And the best specific change that I realized I want to deliver through this channel, I defined it as creating a culture, a movement of people uh, working their ass off to become the best versions of themselves which kind of, you could, you could actually relate it to mastery. So, so we could make it even more simple as I'm talking right now, you know, so working our asses off, creating a culture and movement of working your ass off to master yourself, to master your expertise and to live your life, not only for yourself, but also for others. Uh, so that's what I really would want to kind of create that impact through this channel, but I still need to work hard to gain the tools, the necessary tools to make it happen. And that's where coaching came in. And uh, I'm already starting to invest into coaching, but from October 1st, my coaching course is gonna start. By the way, if, if you are interested to join it as well, it's not cheap. It's not ex too expensive too, but it's not cheap either. It's, it's about three and a half thousand for an eight month course, like a good course. Uh, there is a chance if you wanna join it, and I'll leave a link. And if you're gonna join it, then we'll meet up there. You know, we can get to know each other, we can study together. Uh, but obviously consider the price, consider if you really are interested in it. But I'll leave the link just in case if you, if you wanna jump in and you know, go through this journey together with me. But that being said, yes, I'm going through that course for eight months and, and I'm planning to, and I'm already going wild. I'm reading books and I'm collecting information. I'm, I'm trying to, to be like laser focused to gain as much as I can of wisdom and knowledge to, and skills to be able to make an impact on other people's lives in a quality way. And it will take time until I will get there, until I will, I will have the ability to, come, to directly you know, talk with you and, and, and create something which will be well-defined and meaningful and, uh, and valuable and, and quality. Uh, but nobody's preventing me from documenting the journey as I'm going to do that. 
hopefully this journey of how I'm working my ass off to make it happen will inspire you to make your thing happen, which you want to do. But but yeah, basically I think the 2,000 subscribers, the fact that we reached it, and, and, and subscribers are growing. There's more and more people that are jumping in on this journey. I still, again, need to do a lot. Uh, it's important for me to do a lot of work to, to, to clarify what this channel is about, what I'm going to deliver. And I also have this, this very interesting idea to potentially make chapters because there's so many things I'm interested in, but, but, but you know, if I try to tackle everything at the same time, it may be tricky, but I'm considering that maybe sometimes like take a month and focus during that month, let's say, on toxic masculinity and toxic femininity or sexuality or coaching or, or you know, books or whatever, like, like something which is interesting, meaningful, like choose a subject, dive into it, you know, get everything out of it, and then, uh, and then jump back to the whole journey and then come into a different subject. You know, I'm still not sure if technically that works or not, but I have that idea. I'm coming up with other ideas, but I feel like this channel is slowly moving forward. It's becoming more and more clear with what it is and it will become even more clear of what it is and, and what it can offer to the world. But yeah, it's nonetheless, that's the reason it's a journey, the journey. So, but yeah, I think 2,000 subscribers and, and subscribers are growing slowly, faster and faster, which is not, you know, that's not the main indicator of everything, but it does make you feel like things are moving on. So yeah, it's great that is happening. Thank you for being part of that journey. And I will be doing my best to make this journey worthwhile, to make it even more brilliant as time goes and as effort is put in. But, but I think it's, it's a moment worth stopping and appreciating, celebrating, saying thank you, and uh, appreciate, appreciating and reflecting on what happened and focusing on moving for, forward. So again, thank you for being with this journey. Let me know in, in the comments what, you know, what, what, what came through your mind as you were watching this video. And as always, I will see you in the next videos.